Aquarius, let's look into your love life for February 15th through the 29th of 2020. Aquarius, let's first look at the energies that's surrounding this situation here. It looks like many of you have been in a situation with someone who was dishonest, someone who could have been a little sneaky, someone who could have been a little manipulative. And for some of you, this could have been a narcissist as well with this sun card here. So you could have been dealing with someone who was self-serving and really just wanted to look out for themselves and didn't really care about the welfare, the well-being of others, as long as they were able to get what it is that they wanted. But you could have ended your relationship with this person, this could have came to an end and you could have moved forward from this person as well. And I do see you moving in a new direction. This is a card at the very top here, the crossroads. So you have been moving forward in a new direction. You could have split up from this person, separated from this person, and again, decided to go in a new direction. You could have exercised your free will here and said, you know what? I don't want to stay in this situation. I want something better. So I'm going to move forward because you wanted peace. You wanted happiness. You wanted serenity in your life. But this person was secretly being with all these other people. I could see here, this person was secretly being with all these other people. And that could have came to the light at some point. And you may have felt like there was a lack of loyalty. There was a lack of stability, lack of, not a lack of stability, but more so a lack of loyalty, a lack of trust, a lack of faithfulness in this situation, which could have also led to the demise of this connection here. I do see some very challenging energy within this connection. There could have been some betrayal, some deception, which I do see this person being very, very deceptive and very manipulative as well. So that's kind of what's going on in the background here or, you know, what's kind of around this situation. Nevertheless, I do see that Sun House and Lilies there has been some rather peaceful energy around your, at least your home life. And I'm feeling as though this is mostly and mainly for those of you who live with this person, um, maybe have a family with this person. I do feel as though for many of you, there's a family involved um, with this person, a family unit with this person. But I do see here that you have been having more peace, more happiness within your home life, more security, feeling safe and peaceful within your home life. So this can be regardless of if this person lives with you or if this person is separated from you. Now, if there's not a family here, then this could just be speaking of having happiness about feeling more secure, feeling more comfortable. You feel more comfortable in your love life because there is peace. And I'm feeling as though it's because this person is gone or no longer in the picture. Because again, I see this energy of moving on and being on your own here. But regardless of what the situation is, again, there is more happiness going on here. So, Moving towards the ending portion of February, I do see some challenges coming up. So before where there was peace, happiness, serenity, and things were going well, there is going to be a hiccup at the ending portion of February, but it may not be a large hiccup. It may not be anything too drastic or severe because we do have the child in the middle here and the child can reduce the effect of the cards around it. We do have the cross here and the cross is a very challenging card, which did come out in the outcome. But again, we do have that child card here, which makes the impact not as difficult. So with this mountain child and cross combination here, I do see once again, some more challenges, some more obstacles, some difficulties coming up because there may be some new disappointments that come in. There may be some new burdens, some new challenges 
that come in and I feel as though they're going to be brought by this person. Now they can manifest in a number of different ways because this is a general reading, but I know that at least for a handful of you, I'm feeling as though this person is going to bring out these challenges. Now this person may also be acting in an immature way as well, creating these burdens in this situation. I do feel as though many of you are going to be experiencing some kind of sadness, some kind of bitterness, some kind of loneliness, some kind of emotional pain during the ending portion of February. But again, I do not feel as though it will be severe, but there may still be some there. So some new obstacles are going to come up. Some new challenges are going to come up, but you will be able to move around these because you can move around them mountain you can move around the obstacles that the mountain brings there may also be some isolation between you two as well so you again may be experiencing some emotional upsets here with this unikite card and you may not feel as though you can swallow the challenges the pain that is going on around you, not pain, but the difficult pills to swallow. You may feel as though you can't get them down. You can't take them down. You may have difficulty swallowing what is going on in your love life right now. And this is a good time to balance yourself with self nurturing activities, do things that are nice and loving and kind to you. This is a good time to practice self care, especially if you have someone coming in who, who can kind of shake up your peace and your serenity that you have already established. So this is a good time to also watch your diet. Be very mindful of your diet. Make sure that you ingest um, foods that are good for you, not foods that may drag you down or make you feel heavy or make you feel worse. Embrace your emotions as well and know that this is a good time to eat food that provides you with the nutrients for good health, just as we're speaking about, but also Again, embrace your emotions. This is a good time for self-care so you can kind of heal those challenging emotions that may come up from whatever this challenge or this difficulty is here. Now, Aquarius, you may not be realizing just how wonderful and amazing and magnificent you are with this Rotocrosite card. And this is a good time to realize, to recognize, to acknowledge, and to believe in your own magnificence and your power. And know that you are strong enough to set boundaries with others if you need to. If this person comes back to you and tries to stir up drama and shake up the peace that you have built for yourself, you can establish a boundary and not allow this person to come and mess up the serenity that you have built for yourself, the happiness that you have built for yourself. And allow yourself to be who you truly are which is a magnificent and loving being Aquarius. These are the messages that I have for you. Thumbs up and like this reading, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to grab your How to Manifest Love free guide in the description box below. You can also grab your cheat sheet to attract true love there as well. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com.